Hi there, this is Fixed It. I've started doing the micro switches for the CNC router and this is a panel I've created for the x-axis. I'm going to mount this underneath the spindle with the micro switches on either side. So as the spindle traverses backwards and forwards, the beauty of mounting it there of course is that the cable that's coming off can be routed through the rest of the conduit that's already there. Before installing the uh, two switches I thought I'd better test it first, so I've connected it to a continuity tester. So the moment it touches either column on either side of the X, it will break the circuit and automatically stop. So with the plate mounted underneath, as it moves in it will uh, flick the switch and break the circuit. The exact position I haven't uh, defined yet, but that's the principle. The cable I've run up through the back at the moment is just a loop of cable. Um, but I'm actually going to put some cable protection on there. It's then going through the hole for the spindle and then I'm actually then going round and tracking it into the cradle and I've fed it round and then it comes out here at the bottom. And it's just a short piece because I haven't pulled it all through. Still debating at the moment whether or not to put a cable connector in there and I may well do that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It's an easy alteration to make anyway because the cable as we can see can be pulled back through quite easily. I'm going to be using some of this plastic cable shield uh, which I'll wrap over. It'll just stop it getting frayed and give it some strength. I've been fed the cable around the x-axis in the conduit and y-axis all the way around the outside. And it will join the remainder of the cables. To test that the cable and the switches are now all working perfectly, I have soldered um, the two wires from the cable onto a piece of aero board and soldered onto the other side of it two pieces of single core wire. The braiding I've wired into the zero volts and uh, the red wire I've attached to the X point of the board. Using the Mac 3 diagnostic screen, we can actually see which bits are activated when I move the x-axis towards the right hand side and contact with the support pillar. Now you need to set the appropriate port and pin. Go into port and pins setup and the inputs. Set x++ and also the x- minus to enabled port 1 and pin number 11 if you're using this board. The x-axis which is in place as I try to run it into the uh, right hand side this is what happens it stops as soon as it switches the switch on the side leaving a, a gap and I can set that gap also if we come over to Mac 3 you can see that Mac 3 has hit an emergency exit mode and has uh, stopped the action of the, the CNC so it looks like uh, my switch is working I hope you like the video if you do please give it a thumbs up consider sharing it with others and possibly subscribing I'll now get to work on the wire axis. Thanks for watching. Bye.